Hi guys, this is Neil with the seven most interesting things at In Cosmetics 2024 in no particular order. Number one, Arxada spun out from Lonza, July 2021. They're at the show, really focusing on preservatives and their surfactant line, which folks may remember um, is made uh, largely at the Williamsport, Pennsylvania plant, esters, ethoxylates, a um, bunch of interesting products there, which I think found a, a good new home in the actual uh, new company. I always thought that business was a little bit buried in Lonza, so nice to see them. Axada, uh, A-R-X-A-D-A, -A, standalone company there at the show. Number two, Holly Firm took a stand at the uh, the British Pavilion on the second floor. So as you know, they've been investing heavily in production capacity for their Sephora Olivids. And uh, definitely consider these guys one of the leaders in the new wave of biosurfactant companies, the NWOBS company. So um, uh, great to see the, the, that presence there. And uh, of course, they'll be later on at our conference in May. So uh, great stuff from Holly Firm. Number three, Potion AI, a very busy booth on the first floor. These guys are applying artificial intelligence to formulation. And so if you're a formulator and you're not yet on the waiting list for their free tool, you should get over to the website there and, and get on that list. I'm not sure how long it is, but honestly, it's uh, well worth checking out. Two founders on the booth and um, really attracting a lot of attention uh, for their uh, free tool, as I said, that, that uh, brings um, the, you the ability to formulate very quick, quickly from scratch, given any starting point and access to uh, information on thousands, tens of thousands of uh, ingredients. So um, really good to see them there. And of course, they also will be at our um, event in May in Jersey City. Number four, Ruby Bio, uh, biosurfactant company, fermentation-based glycolipids, which, as Charlie Silver was keen to stress, are not Sephora lipids, not Ramlo lipids, something new, something different. Uh, interesting presentation from them in the technical sessions upstairs on uh, some of the basic physical and uh, performance properties. Um, this is a brand new company, uh, scaling up right now, so I uh, encourage you to check them out for something again that's not your average Sephora or Ramno Lipid. Number five, Amphistar, which by a quirk of karmic fate had the CEO winning the bottle of champagne prize from Ruby Bio at their presentation uh, on the same day that she was able to announce the completion of their 6 million euro equity round. So this is a relatively new Belgian company, University Spinout, working on a biosurfactant platform. So it gives them plenty of money to start building capacity and fleshing out their technical and commercial capabilities. Great to see them at the show and, uh, and in the room. So um, keep an eye out on those guys. Number six, TKS, Techno Science Publishing Company, publisher of HPC Today. It's a free journal. I encourage you to get it. Available in hard copy as well as a really easily readable online format. I write a column in there, which is why I'm recommending you get it. Every issue on surfactants and a few articles in between. Um, they're sponsoring a seminar, New York Suppliers Day. I encourage you to attend on a Wednesday lunchtime, starts at 12 noon. You get lunch with the seminar and uh, there's an expert panel covering cosmetics ingredients, all aspects, hosted by the great Perry Romanowski. So um, again, sponsored by TKS Magazine, HPC Today. And finally, number seven, Inolex. I thought they were previewing a fancy new logo but it's just the X at the end of Inelex, looking very trendy. A lot of great renewable products as part of their portfolio, including surfactants. And of course, their head of R&D is chairing our marathon biosurfactant session at our conference in May. That's Mike Fevela. Encourage you to see what he's got lined up for us uh, at that event. And so that's it. Of course, I hope you realize that that is an unscientific assessment of the seven 
most interesting things in, in cosmetics, in my opinion. So that's it, guys. I hope you found this useful. Stick your comments in the um, comments below, and also below the video, you've got links to the companies and things that I mentioned here.